Hey guys, welcome to an edition of Witchy Wednesdays. And today we're talking about when and when not to cast spells. Uh, this topic came up because I was trying to figure out what to talk about on this particular part of my channel. And a friend of mine told me, well, when do you decide that you, know, you need to cast a spell? Uh, what what tells you, you know, maybe I should do this and um, What doesn't tells you not to do it. So I'm gonna go from spiritual or traditional practices to um, Just common sense now Depending on on the spiritual aspect or the metaphysical aspect um, you shouldn't cast a spell if it doesn't resonate um, when it comes to astrology. So, for instance, if you're wanting to do a particular spell that works best with the full moon, then wait until the full moon. If it's more of a new moon kind of a spell, then, you know, do it that way. And that's really more up to you because I know witches and, and people in general that cast love spells on, like, the dark moon. So, um... You know, that, that does make kind of a little bit of sense because as the moon grows, um, the love grows or the possibility or the, you know, it starts coming closer and faster and more intense. Uh, and it's a gradual progression. So that makes kind of some sense. So that, um, that's really, I mean, there is a common, I guess you could say denominator on when you should and shouldn't, uh, depending on the moon cycle or the sun cycle or the time of year it is. Uh, obviously, you know, you do um, cleaning and cleansings and stuff like that during spring because you're getting rid of the old stuff from winter, um, hence spring cleaning, um, that's where it comes from. Um, and uh, winter is all about survival and protection and having abundance or enough protection and abundance for just to ever to survive winter. Um, so I mean in that sense that's common that's that's real common sense for any one of us who practices on a regular basis. Now the more um, emotional or common or the I guess you could say emotional and common sense about it. Uh, not related to um, astrology or astronomy or whatever. astrology, not astronomy, sorry. Astrology and um, you know, moon cycles and time of the year, time of the day, uh, day of the week and all that stuff and not counting those and just counting you as a person. Um, my opinion, my personal opinion, is that you should only cast a spell if you've had time to think about it. And what I mean by that, I mean, if it's a spell that you're comfortable with and it's something that you've done before and it's not, it's more to help you, uh, so it affects your life, not the people around you necessarily, and it affects you in a good way, then I don't think you really need to like sit down and like debate it and you know mull it over. It's just do it, you know, just, just do it. Um, and do it to your liking. Now, if it's something that is, I would say, to a certain degree, in morally questionable, or questionable in the in the pagan uh, or um, metaphysical community, I would say think about it only because of the fact that those types of spells uh, are usually spells that. We want to cast because we are emotionally heightened, meaning we're angry, we're distraught, we are extraordinarily sad, depressed, or what have you, and we want to do something to um, counteract that, or <clears throat> to a certain degree um, punish whoever did that to us. You know, if you if you guys get my hint. Um, and those spells have their place. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm not saying don't don't cast them necessarily. I'm just saying don't jump to conclusion and make it bigger than what it is. Okay, guys. 
a good example is if, let's say, you are going up for promotion at your job and the, your, the other candidate for the position, for the promotion, is a girl named Stacy, let's say, right? Now, you and Stacy are pretty good at what you do, so it's kind of like a neck and neck kind of race. But unlike, unlike you, Stacy can be a bitch and starts to rub it in that she's gonna get the promotion and not you, and that she's done a better job and does this in a very mm, catty yet um, not so obvious, but you can tell way in front of your bosses and they laugh, it's no big deal for them, it's just whatever. And, but you get insulted, you get insulted, you get angry that she has the audacity to do something in that nature, okay? So what do you want to do? First thing is, you know, you, you want to cast a spell on her. You want to uh, do something, a little trabajito, as they say in Spanish, a little, a little working, um, which basically means like a little, a little magic, a little something. So the first reaction is you get home and you're just like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, and, blah, blah, blah. and at that point is when you have to step back and relax and just go, okay, what do I gain from do doing this besides just knowing that I'm going to ruin her day, that I'm going to mess things up? I'm going to know that. She's not going to know that. She just thinks that she's going to have like a, re she just thinks, oh, I'm just having a crappy day and I didn't get my promotion because of that. Or maybe she still gets it, and you just make her life a little bit miserable for the next couple days. And but she still gets the promotion, so you still don't win. You don't get anything out of it. It just makes you a crappier person than she is. So what do you do? Instead, you sit back, relax, and go. Okay, how do I get this promotion? Show Stacy that she's an idiot, and um, still get what I want. And that's how you have to think things through. You have to go, okay, how do I do this? That I can get a promotion and not hurt Stacy. Because by me just getting my promotion alone, that's pain enough. So I don't have to like actually do anything to her. Because that's the real goal. The real goal isn't to hurt her. The real goal is to get my promotion. Because in the end, that's what you're, what's really going to benefit you. And it's really what you want. So what do you do? You do a spell on yourself to better yourself, to make your boss go, wow, she's doing an awesome job. Look at her. And they ignore Stacy. And what do you do? That, what have you done? Nothing to Stacy. Nothing. So there's no negative energy between the two of you that you have sent out to her. So there's no link there. There's a link to you and your bosses of positive energy which makes your life a whole lot easier, a whole lot nicer. You get your promotion, get a better paycheck, and Stacy's just looking at you like, uh, 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 uh. and trust me, that is satisfaction enough. So that's pretty much how I choose and decide when and when not to cast spells. Um, but, that doesn't mean that you guys have to do it the way that I do it. I mean, everybody has their own uh, morals, their own uh, methods, uh, you know, their, their reasons for and for not. But because of that, I'm really interested in finding out what, what you guys decide. How do you guys decide whether or not to cast a spell? Um, what are good enough reasons, what are good, what are not good enough reasons. Um, what's your decision? How do, how do you make it? Uh, I'd really like to know, so just leave a comment on the bottom. Uh, and if you guys have any ideas of anything that you want me to do a topic on for Witchy Wednesdays, um, don't hesitate. Let me know and you might actually see a video that you requested. Other than that, guys, much love and blessings. Toodles.